Hi everyone, Soupthony What Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new MF Doom and Zarface project, or Zarface and MF Doom project, Super What. This is a brand new LP of material from the comic book inspired hip hop trio Zarface, featuring producer 7L, rapper Esoteric, and Wu Tang Zone Inspected Deck. They have dropped numerous quality projects since 2013, as they are nothing if not consistent, and this is almost to a fault to some degree as Esoteric and the Rebel INS operate by some pretty old school fundamentals. You either take them according to those terms or you leave them. Now the rapping and production styles that were showcased on early Zarface records, along with their parallels to the comic book world, made them uh, very much alike to one of rap music's true legends, and that is the metal-faced villain himself, MF Doom, who they actually collaborated with on a record that dropped in 2018, which all around was a pretty good project, and their creative common ground made for quite a bit of chemistry. Now, since having released this record, the world has lost Doom. His passing was announced at the end of last year, but had been kept under wraps since this past October. But prior to that, in April, Doom and Zarface had laid down tracks for what would be this record. Now, from the outset, this is not nearly as large or robust a record as Zarface meets Metal Face as it's just 10 tracks that run up to 27 minutes in time. I wouldn't say creatively it's as momentous an occasion either, as for both artists there's not really any new ground being broken here collectively. But hearing three seasoned MCs rocking over a series of dramatic textured, grimy beats laced with zany samples is always a treat. And of course, also given Doom's passing, it is amazing to hear that even in his final months, he was still lyrically in great shape. The celebratory opener of this project features DMC of Run DMC fame, who delivers a shouty feature with nods to Black Panther, Spider-Man really kind of fitting in with that comic book theme. It's on point, it's on topic, his rap style gels with esoterics like peanut butter and jelly, and even though the track is short, Esoteric does come through with some quotables, referring to this thing as a czar-studded LP. Toward the end, the track then changes pace with a really cool beat switch from Doom. It's a bright tone setter that eventually meets the start of a much darker cut, Zarwin's theory of people getting loose, which has lots of chilling, villainous vocal samples, an opening verse with Inspected Deck where he sounds expressive as ever. However, on the back end of the track, it seems like Doom and Esoteric are locked into a battle to see who can have the more relentless flow on the song. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a spicy moment. Mando Calrissian is an okay track on the record. It's a bit of a shorty with miniature verses from INS, from Esso, and Doom. Doesn't leave much of an impression, but that Van Gogh line from Esoteric is certainly cute. Doom Unto Others has a groovy, dark, just evil beat, and lyrically over it, Doom just sounds like he is in mad villainy mode. Love the ghostly tones in this instrumental, the distorted bass line. Then Jason and the Zargonauts is one of the more lyrically dense cuts on the record featuring a guest verse from none other than Del the Funky Homo Sapien who totally kills it on the back end of this track. I love this timely bar that Esoteric drops into the track too saying that Zarface and Doom were pro-mask before Corona hit. Break in the Action lives up to its title as it seems like a very chill and somewhat tongue-in-cheek moment in the midst of the LP. Almost a Danger Doom type moment for the record and Doom's quirky lyricism, particularly quirky lyricism on this track gives off that same vibe. Of course, there's more quotables from Esso on this track too, saying he's tired of playing optimistic like Tom York's band. <laughs> Take him out on tape like unboxing vids. He really goes off on numerous tracks on this record, even taking up the entirety of the song. This is canon now. The closing track, Young World, is a well-meaning cut, I think, where uh, they try to relay some advice to young people, specifically young women who may find themselves in a cycle of uh, drinking, sex, staying out late, not doing what they're supposed to to lead, I guess, you know, uh, 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 good lives. But again, I, I just find the whole tone of the track to be 
uh, a little patronizing, kind of too doting. But with that, I've nearly gone into every track on this very short, very scant LP. Now, again, overall, it's a decent listen. It's cool to hear Zarface and Doom come through with this level of chemistry and creativity once again. But simultaneously, there's not a lot of material here that, in my opinion, is as exciting as what uh, these guys had originally done on Zarface meets Metalface, and on top of it, for whatever reason that it is, uh, INS does not seem to be the factor on this record that he has been on previous Zarface LPs. There's not a single song here where, in my opinion, he really kind of came out in terms of flow, in terms of lyrics. Previously, things seemed a lot more neck and neck, but on this record, Esso is just like stealing the show again and again and again. And it's not necessarily because he's really going above and beyond here creatively. I mean, granted, they're good verses, they're good bars, but uh, I feel like, uh, specifically INS, is not really like stepping up to the plate as much as he possibly could have on this project. So yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's okay. It's not bad. I'm feeling a decent two strong six on this one. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, INS, SO, 7L, MF Doom, forever.